Okay, got a road trip planned today. No, not going to the dump. Pretty close, but not quite. I'll see you when we get there. Well, is this looking familiar yet? I got to go in here. Road turns to dirt, you know you're in trouble. to hide out this would be a good place to do it I 
That's right. You know where we're at. In the end, we all always come back to Uncle Phil's place. And that's Uncle Phil's new ride right there, too. Phil's kind of got the empire going here. We'll have to check it out if he wants us to. All right. So this is what we're looking at. It's an 18-foot trailer. Yeah, we can try to get this thing together so we can get it home. So we got two different kinds of hubs. This one's an easy loom, I guess they call it bearing whatever that is and then it doesn't sound good <clears throat> one up here that sounds good one here that doesn't sound good is missing lugs and one here that also missing lugs that Sounds okay. All right, so we're gonna get all this part and probably make a trip to tractor supply. Uh, all right. Hang on tight. Huh? <laughs> yeah. Okay, give her a big pull there, bud. Nope, nope, nope. Come on. There you go. There you go. Yeah, this truck has new door seals on it, so. Well, let's not say too much about it because I've already been talking about it while you were inside and I'm sure people will get pissed off about it, but I've been watching people go in here with or without masks. See that guy there? He's going in without one. Hey, does you know him? Yeah, that was uh, what you call it's a landlord. <laughs> okay. John and Tammy. Okay, yeah. We'll talk about them another time, okay? We'll, we'll get into that if you would. But, uh, a visit to Dollar General. This is, by the way, guys, this is Phil's, Uncle Phil's. If you wonder where Phil goes to his home, Dollar General, this is it right here. Is that right? Yep. So this is where Uncle Phil comes for everything, except gas, medicine, and what else? Is there anything else you can't get at Dollar General? Nope. There's your uh, Kia Sportage. That's yeah. the one that's under the Sorrento. Yeah. You can go, lady. Uh, go ahead, come on, come on, go. come on, lady. You can do it. Get yeah, Phil and I, Phil and I try not to be complainers or gripers too much, but we spend a lot of our time going down the road griping about people talking on their cell phones and houses that are abandoned and people's bad driving. Of course, we're not saying anything about me holding a camera up here while I'm driving down the road. We're not saying anything about that because that's what we're doing, right? Right. Phil's been commenting about my reverse <laughs> on my transmission, how he doesn't like it. So let's just see how it goes here. Okay, let's see how this works here. You ready? You don't like that? Well, get over it. <laughs> it gets hard. That's right. I got it working this right now. location in Uncle Phil's shop this time. You may remember what's looking pretty good in here. Phil's, this is where Phil does his 
small engine work and different things and he's got a couple mowers he's got going in here this is remember this is the when you're building this this was the showroom over here for when i bought that mower that i brought back <laughs> so this place you got the no doors today okay but anyways you may notice uh there's a little bit of a lighting deficit here is this might your main bench area that you work out yeah, <coughs> yeah. so are oh, you yeah, all right okay so we're he's he's a little a little shy on lighting here but the good news is is that these led shop lights are extremely cheap these days yeah and so uh and they put out a lot of light so we picked one of these up for him today so all we gotta basically do is put in when he decides where he wants to locate it we gotta put in two hooks and hang it from the chains and then he just plugs it in or he can He's got a plug right here, as a matter of fact. Looks like he could use two if you want it. Yep, I got a plug right there. Got a plug there. So it's got a five foot cord on it. May not reach yeah. to that one. Plug over there. But it'll reach to this one for sure, probably. So, all right, so we're gonna work on that and we'll do a little video afterwards and see how he likes that. From the world of incandescence to the world of LED. Here we come. Okay, Phil. I can see what's going on over here. Here's your new work area. Yeah. Got an angle. That, whoops. Yeah, our cord is. They say that's a five foot cord. It may be, but we've kind of ex extended it as far as it would go. But yeah. Now, now you got a shop to work in, man. Yeah, I can see. Yeah. Welcome to Uncle, Uncle Phil's shop. So, did you got any heat for in here? Uh, nope. Huh. Nope, ain't got no heat. Yeah. Well, that'll be the next thing on the list for you, maybe. All right. Pretty well set up. Yeah. So, so we've got the hubs all taken off that trailer, and so did you decide if you wanted to dump the mower off here or down yeah. there? Yeah. Do it here? Yeah. That but, way I can clean it up, and uh, maybe when... Uh, you come back, we can just put it on the trail or something and drop it off. Drop it off, okay, that'll be fine. That way I can get it uh, fixed. Yeah, it was serviced in March, so I don't know if it needs service yet, but it's up to this you. This here it runs good, but I gotta get uh, tubes oh. for the tires. It's hydrostat too. Is it? Yeah. Hold this, would you? Just point it what kind of the way it's going there. I just, I, I love all of them. Let's see, I'm trying to motor this one. Okay. Oh yeah, that's one of those 15.5s, just like the other one's got. Uh-huh. Very nice. Yeah, boy, that thing runs great. Runs, starts better than that one. So this that's one. That's my new one. Yeah, that's a nice one. Yeah, that's got, uh, uh, 19. That's an intake. Yeah, that's a, is it a single or a twin? That's a single. Sure is. Very good. Man, I got another motor over there. So if it goes out, any of them go out. <laughs> I, had, I had three. And unfortunately, up here, they're kind of known to go out, aren't they? Yeah, the way people use them. It's just know? kind of a hostile environment for a lot of motors. Yeah. I bought this one new. Good deal. Good deal. Well, I brought him a few of my no longer used uh, pieces of power equipment, so Phil loves fooling with those things, so he'll have something to play with here off and on. Yeah. All right, bud. Well, yeah. we'll go do. Oh, is this one of the starters that I gave you down here for the car? I think it yep. is. Those are Mopar starters. Can I look at those before I leave? Sure can. Okay, just out here. You know, I rebuild those. Yeah. That's a little side hobby now. Uh, Good deal. I think I gave you an alternator too, didn't I? Yeah. All right, we'll go look at that. All right, guys, I think we're going to fiddle around with this stuff, and then I'm going to head on back. So, see you later.
Did it do the trick? Huh? Did it do the trick? No, it said trick. All right. Boy, yeah, yeah boy, you can shave with that one. She uh -huh. whiz. So, Uncle Phil and I like to indulge each other's whims. And one thing, he knew I wanted a car trailer. So, he found one and then he told me that he needed a grinder, a side angle grinder, which that's what that is. That's my one I've had for a while. Which works fine and he didn't have one. And Phil, Phil sharpens. Oh yeah, show us this. Sound like it's slowing down. It does. It does. It's so sound. It does. It's so sound. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's what it needed, isn't it? Yeah. All right. Oh. All right. Okay. Let's get into next here. Can you believe it? After uh, two and a half long years. Yep. Your favorite lawnmower in the whole world has come back home. Back home. Yep. Can you believe that this thing survived all that time mowing all that yard up there? Yep. What have we got over here? Oh, Phil's, Phil's going to... That thing should be hotter than a firecracker. But it won't hurt to pop a top of that. So Phil's got the battery to it and everything. So he's gonna take this out, I guess, to his sisters. I don't know. I don't know what you're gonna do with it, and I don't mind a bit because I'm just glad it's out of my possession. This thing, this thing, let me tell you, it's a good running mower, but boy, it's it takes some effort to keep it all functioning perfectly. I ain't gonna yeah. lie to you, but it's shouldn't have much wrong with it now because I fixed everything. Oh yeah, by the way, thanks for giving me those aluminum ramps we used to get this off the truck with. I need okay. this. <laughs> <laughs> no. Hey bud, uh, yeah. I guess I'm gonna load up and go. Would you mind giving us a little short tour of the, the graveyard out here? And sure. the, I wanna look at Are your you. Are you taking this starter? Yeah, I'm gonna take that okay. one. I, I gotta bring Phil one back to make up for that. But So, oh. Oh. So anyway, this is Phil's, I call it the graveyard, but this is, this is Phil's uh, currently non-running vehicles storage area. So he's got the, his prize possession, which is my old Plymouth under here because the transmission failed. And then doesn't matter how it happened, but through some unfortunate circumstances, the transmission came up missing. So he's working on that. So I've been looking for a transmission for him also. But then... The one that really breaks my heart is this thing. Yeah, this is the key, yeah. And without naming any names about it, uh, Phil, just to, yep, there it is. Yep. Which doesn't run anymore. That's engine number three. Four, the uh, next one's four. Yeah, four. So it's, where it's waiting on engine four. Uh, the first couple were because of this, the timing, the good time to do that. This engine was going to be the one you were using, but. Yeah, the one I'm going to get, yeah. Yeah, 
But anyway, so what's basically happened here, long story short, to tell you how rotten people are, Phil had to end up in the hospital last year when he was so sick with pneumonia and almost died. And then somebody appropriated the keys to this thing, I guess. No, it was, yeah. It was here, wasn't supposed to be here, something like that. I don't know the story, it doesn't matter. But anyway, when Phil got back, something was out of gas. So he had not been driving this. Because, okay, because cause, uh, I think the clutch has got real weak in it. So he wasn't driving it much. So he had to go somewhere to get dog food, I guess it was, he said. And so he hopped in this one and drove away to go get stuff from the store. That food for you probably is what it was. He just got home from the hospital. Imagine that. And got just, what, a couple miles down the road, if that, and it started making noise. I got almost to the second store in the Dollar General, and about then, a half a mile. And then went to pull the dipstick out, wherever that's at on this. I don't, that matter now, I guess, but pulled mm -hmm. the dipstick out and there wasn't any oil in it, right? Yep. Or it was way low. They drained the oil out of it because they're vindictive redneck bastards. Well, it doesn't make any difference now, bud. If I can blow it up. So it's basically you no know, seized up. So. Yeah, I could show you if I, I had uh, underneath, but yeah. I don't want to crawl underneath. No, not no, the damn not. Uh, piston rod. You know, you know the barber shops, how they got that light and it goes like this? <laughs> yeah. That's what that piston rod looks like. <laughs> Dang. Yeah. All right. I mean, it's... Yeah. Smoked. Yeah, it's fried. Yeah. You need a whole new bottom end. Yeah. I remember when you drove this down to the house when you just got this. Yep. That's Five. dead. That's dead. That's what I like about it. It's yep. five speed. That's right. Not many of those around. Mm -hmm. Alright, and then Phil's got him a new ride out here. Real quick, we'll just take a real quick glimpse of that. That's the dog. <laughs> this is a... Oops. Uh, <laughs> this is a... What's well, that? Yeah, don't forget those. This is a Tus Tuscany 2.7 Elisa. Yeah. All right. Must be a version of the Tiburon that I've never heard of. <laughs> it's been imported from Italy. <laughs> okay, guys, I gotta go. See ya.
shortage of squeaks in here. Okie dokie, we roll back into town here after a long day. So, did not complete our mission today because uh, it's just going to take too much work on that trailer to get it together in one day. So, that's okay. I had a good time visiting with Phil and I'm going to refurbish those hubs this week, hopefully. And then we're going to get on the road back down there again and should be able to get it together and get it back up here and you know I'm not upset about that because uh, you know that trailer I won't hardly have anything in it Phil ostensibly said that he bought it for me as a gift but he's got several hundred dollars in it and so I made a few hundred dollar donation to Phil and brought him some stuff as you saw in the back of the truck to uh, Kind of help him with whatever he does with equipment service and sales and things on his own so no big deal we'll make it work out um, and the thing is with that thing uh, I had talked to Phil on the phone and you know people that <laughs> uh, you know people that are on the lower end of the economic spectrum I guess you can say they tend to not have the same perceptions about things that are worn out and broken burned up and not usable as maybe other people do so it had out of the four wheels four hubs it had two that were quiet and two that were noisy and it had two wheels with it that's all it had two wheels and both of the tires were flat and both of the wheels with the tires were worn out so not usable so I was trying to get Phil to kind of tell me what that's weird the guy's Christmas lights just went out just as I passed his house <laughs> dang I tried to get Phil to kind of give me an idea you know without me going down there myself trying to give me an idea of what it needed and his thing was he kept telling me well it just it's got it's going to need five studs put in the hubs and that's all he'd say. So apparently he never got out there and spun the thing. So, but that, you know, no big deal. I'm not complaining whatsoever. I'm thankful for it. Very, very thankful because even a little bit of work on the wheels and hubs and stuff, that's a heck of a deal for an 18 foot trailer. Because I've been, I've been priced them. I know what they go for. So, and I got Phil. Yeah, tell us all about it. I got Phil a new light for his little shop in there, which he loved, and gave him my old angle grinder, you saw that, which works fine. He gave him some clothes and some silverware and some dishes and things that I don't ever use, so I just pass it forward if I can. Gave him some masks. I gave him one that I bought a couple of cloth ones that he could reuse, wash and reuse, so he's happy with that. So he's just on, man, he's just on, he's nearly destitute. I mean, <laughs> poor guy, but. Alrighty then, we're back. You know, people have laughed at my old truck and turned their noses up at it like it wasn't good enough. It's too old, too ugly two-wheel drive when it should have been four-wheel drive yada 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 but you know what 
We left town this morning in it and we're back to town in it this evening. It made a 200 mile round trip like nothing. It ran perfectly the whole time. So take that. So anyway, again, another thing to be thankful for. So I'll see you guys. I'm going to get this boat turned around and back in its spot and go in and get cleaned up and relax. Thanks so much for watching and I know there's a lot of talking in here just visiting one so much and getting a trailer but you know it's just the way things work sometimes we'll do it on the next one for sure. See you around.